Hello everyone, welcome back to the mathematics class again. So today in this video, we are going to learn how to solve the word problems as most of the students are facing difficulty in dealing with word problems. And we need to check first of all few steps to be followed for solving any kind of word problems. So let us see what are the rules. The so step one is read the problem carefully to understand what is to be found. That means the first step you need to read the problem very carefully to understand that what has to be found in this given word problem. Second step, note down the information given in the problem. Like as we are writing the statements from the question, that is the information which we need to note down what has been given in the question and discard the information that is not needed. That there are few numbers which have been given in extra which are not required at all for our problem. So we no need to check those numbers. We no need to write down those numbers. Then decide. Step 3. Decide what needs to be done. That whether you need to do addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Then step 4. You need to solve the problem. And then step 5. Check your answer. Does it seem right? That, that means you need to cross check your answer one again. So these are all the steps which we have to follow while solving the word problems. Let us start with the question. Solve the following. So we have first question. So what is the first step children? We need to read the question carefully. So in an entrance exam, 4159 girls and 3298 boys appeared. How many students did appear for the examination? So this is how we have read the question. Second step, we need to note down the information what has been given in the question. So they have given us some number of girls and number of boys who are appeared in the examination. So the first statement will be number of girls appeared in the exam equals to 4159. Then number of boys appeared in exam equals to 3298. This is the information what has been given and we have noted it down. Now third step was we need to check that what has to be done. So as they are asking how many students did appear for the examination. That means we need to find out the total number of students who appeared for this examination. So third statement will be total number of students appeared for the exam or examination. Then next one we need to do the addition part and we will get the answer as 7457 as we can check it like this I can elaborate 9 plus 8 will be 17 7 will be here and then 1 is the carryover here then 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 9 is 15 so 5 we will write down here this side and 1 is the carryover here then 1 plus 1, 2 and plus 2 will be 4. 4 plus 3 will be 7. So we have the answer as 7457. I hope it is clear to you. Now let us move to the next question. The next question is in a school there are 1024 students in grades 1 and 2 and 1990 students in grade 3 and 4. Find the total number of students in the school. So this is all we have read the question. Second step, we need to note down what has been given. So they have given the number of students in grade 1 and 2 and the number of students in grade 3 and 4. So that will be our statement. Number of students in grade 1 and 2 equals to 1024. Number of students in grade 3 and 4 equals to 1990. Now we need to find out the third step was we need to check that what has to be done. So as they have given find the total number of students in the school. So total means again we have to do the addition operation as so addition means to keep the things together and they are asking how many number but what is the total number of students. So the next statement will be total number of students in the school. And we need to write down this thing in the column. All the number in the correct place value order. Then the solution will be 
4 plus 0 will be 4, 9 plus 2 will be 11, 1 is the carryover, 9 plus 1 is 10, so 0 and 1 will be the carry again and then we have 1, 2 and 3. So the answer will be 3014. We have 3014 students in the school. See part. In an examination, 28,610 people visited on day 1, 27,746 on day 2, 6,809 on day 3 and 11,367 on day 4. Find the total number of people visited the exhibition. So we have read and we have understood that what has to be asked. What has been asked in this question? They have asked us total number of people visited on in the exhibition. So we need to write down the statement as they have given us on day 1, day 2, day 3 and day 4. How many people have been visited respectively? So the statement will be People visited on day 1 is this much, people visited on day 2 is this much, people visited on day 3 is this much and people visited on day 4 equals to this much. This all we have written that what has been given in the question. Now next step we need to write down this. The total number of people visited the exhibition and then we need to add all these four numbers as we are doing the addition so it will be like this <coughs> sorry it will be like this 6 in this 0 plus 6 plus 9 plus 7 it will be 22 and 2 is carry over 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 4 is 7 and 7 plus 6 will be 13 1 is carry over 7 plus 7 is 14 and then 8 will be 22 and 3 will be 25. So again 2 is the carry over here. 8 plus 2 is 10. 7 is 17. Then we need to add 6 will be 23. And plus 1 will be 24. 2 is carry again. 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So 7. The answer will be 74,532. <clears throat> I hope you have got this answer. Now let us do the C part. D part. A garment factory manufactured 35,390 garments in January, 71,715 garments in February and 90,874 garments in March. So how many garments were manufactured by the factory and we need to write down the information what has been given that is garments manufactured in January these many, garment manufactured in February these many and garment manufactured in March these many. And the next step we need to find out the total number of or the number of garments which is manufactured by the factory all these three months. So it will be total garments manufactured by the factory and we need to write down in the columns like this and then we are going to add all these numbers and we will get the answer as 1,97,979. So this is all about the word problems which are simply given but there are few more word problems in which some other information has already been given which is not required at all but yes they have mentioned it to check your presence of mind to check your IQ level that yes are you understanding it properly or just you are playing with the numbers. So we have next question solve the following problems use only the information that is needed. So in this category the first part is Rita school has 20,356 students. Saroj school which is 112 km away has 12,145 students. How many students are there in both the schools altogether? So in this one they have given us the number of students in Rita school and Saroj school but it has also been given that 
the road school is 112 km away but do you really think so children that 112 km is required to solve this problem to find out the total number of students no it is not required at all so we need to write down number of students in rita schools number of students in saroj schools then total number of students in both school so these are the number of students and we they have give we have written in the place value chart and then we need to add these numbers as 6 plus 1 will be 11 1 is carry 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10 1 is carry again 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 then 2 and then 3 so this is the correct answer we are not going to use 112 km in the solution next part b part raja took part in a car rally along with 727 other people on the first day he covered 485 km the second day he covered 398 km and the third day he covered 502 km how much distance did he cover in all so children as they are asking the distance covered by him in all but did you notice that they have given us 727 other people also joined raja in the car rally but that is not required for finding out the total distance so we are requested we are have to write down only distance covered on first day distance covered on second day distance covered on third day and then we need to find out the total distance like this total distance covered by him is we need to add all these three numbers and we will get the answer as 1385 kilometers that he has traveled this much in these three days next c part there were 32641 men watching a hockey match in the stadium the capacity of the stadium is 80000 people there are also there were also 21645 women watching the match how many people in all were there to watch the match so here they are asking the number of people who were there in the stadium to watch the match but here they have given us the capacity of the stadium as well that 80000 people can accommodate in that stadium or 80000 people can sit together to watch anything what watch any kind of match or something but here it is not required at all for counting the number of men and women like number of people in this question so we are just supposed to write down the number of men in the stadium the number of women in the stadium and then we need to find out the total number of people in the stadium by adding both the numbers like this and we have the answer as 5 plus 1 is 6 4 plus 4 is 8 6 plus 6 is 12 1 is carry 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 and then 3 plus 2 is 5 that means we have the answer that 54286 people were there to watch that match so i hope children you have understood all these questions explained by me thank you